In this video, we're going to create code in Excel VBA that allows us to loop through all of our worksheets in our workbook. And more specifically, what we want to do is loop through each sheet, look to see if a certain condition is met in the data in each of those sheets. And if so, we want to copy the row to a new sheet of those records based on that criteria. So you can see here I have sheets with days of the week for the previous week and each sheet contains orders for that day. And what we want to do is loop through each of these sheets, check to see if the order amount was greater than or equal to $750 on each of those sheets and if so we want to copy that rows records to a new worksheet in the same workbook so the first thing we want to do is hit alt f11 to go into the vba editor window anywhere in this project window i'm going to right click go to insert and then module we'll call this subroutine looping through worksheets and we'll begin by declaring some variables. So the first one I'm going to call WS for worksheet. It's going to be as the data type worksheet. And this is going to represent each of the worksheets that we want to loop through in our collection of worksheets. We're going to have a second worksheet variable called NWS and this is going to represent the new worksheet that we get added that we eventually want to copy our records to. We're going to have another variable called end row. It's going to be as the data type long and this just represents the last row containing values on each of our individual sheets that we want to loop through so we know where to stop in our loop as far as the ranges go on each sheet. So we're going to have one final variable called first blank row also as the data type long and this represents the variable that will always hold the first blank row number on our new sheet as we add new records each time we go through our loop because we need to dynamically find the first blank row each time we're adding a record. So the first thing I want to do is set our new worksheet variable. That is going to be equal to worksheets and then add because we want to add a new sheet. And we're going to have two loops here. We have an outer loop that loops through our collection of worksheets. And then we have an inner loop that loops through our data set of records on each of those individual sheets. So our outer loop is going to be a for each loop because we want to look at each worksheet in our collection of worksheets. And the first thing I want to define is our end row variable here. So that is going to be equal to whatever worksheet we're presently on. And then what I want to do is get the range A1, get the current region and then I want to count the rows because what this will do is if we are on cell A1 the current region will be the equivalent of hitting control A which selects that entire data set from there we want to get the rows and count them so that will get us our end row number so that we know where to stop on our inner loop that goes through each range on our worksheets so now what we also want to do is test to see if 
our worksheet is not equal the name of that worksheet is not equal to our new worksheet because we don't want to loop through and copy records on our new worksheet we want to add records to that new worksheet so that is the one worksheet we don't want to loop through and it is part of our collection of worksheets so what I'm gonna do here is add an if condition and test whatever worksheet we're on now the name make sure it is not equal to our new worksheet name if so then we'll perform our inner loop so our inner loop is just going to be a general for loop with an I counter as a variable we want to begin on row 2 of each sheet because we don't want to loop through the headers and we want to go to our end row variable so we have another if test here and what we want to look at here is to test and see if on each of our individual worksheets the cells which the row index is going to be our counter variable whatever row we're currently on and we want to look at column 3 which contains our order amount column and test to see whether it's greater than or equal to $750. If it is, then what we want to do is define our first blank row variable. So that's going to be equal to our new worksheet. And what we want to do is dynamically get the first blank row which as it stands it's gonna have all blank rows but as we add records we want to be able to get the first blank row so we're gonna reference rows and then count in column 1 or column A and we want to end Excel up return that row number and add one to it because that will get as we add records this by itself will get the first or I should say the last row containing values we want to get the first blank row so we add one to that so once we've defined that last row variable on our new worksheet then what we want to do is whatever worksheet we're currently on in our loop of our date sheets we want to get the row that meets that criteria which we're going to reference rows and then our counter variable for whatever row we're on we're going to copy that row and our destination is going to be equal to our new worksheet variable and then rows again and we're going to insert our first blank row variable we've done everything we need to do with our if condition so we're done we can end our if statement for our inner loop here and then we can go to our next counter variable in our inner loop we have also tested our sheet name so we need to end our outer if statement and then we want to go to our next worksheet in our outer loop so now I'm gonna click play to run this and what we should see is a new sheet get added with only records on each of our five existing sheets that have orders greater than or equal to $750 so I'm gonna hit play here and there it is you can see all of the records let me blow this up a little bit 
are greater than or equal to $750. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.